And it was Harrison Bailey on that last drive, airing a couple out that were close. Airing it out here is Cox, looking over the sideline, and it's complete. It's Castile around the defender and into the end zone as the Wolfpack on their third drive score their first touchdown. They fake the handoff. It's on the ground. The Rebels have it. It's Jonathan Baldwin fighting around a tackler to the corner. Touchdown. Wolfpack territory. Bailey steps back, looks deep, fires deep for Kyle Williams, turns around and makes the catch, and then some into the end zone for a touchdown. It's Kyle Williams for the fifth time on the year, and the Rebels have tied it. Take the snap, fakes it left to Robbins. He's looking for a man downfield. Has to roll out, and he's crushed. Throws it right to a defender as it's intercepted. It's Drew Watts as he stays up and is eventually brought down at the 32-yard line. And he spotted at the 29. Cox back to pass. Moving up in the pocket. Now escapes. He's out to the left. Jumps. Throws it over the middle. Waiting for the ruling. They're going to say it was intercepted. B.J. Harris. 14 yards to Kyle Williams there. Play action left, rolling right is Bailey. Looking back to the left, he throws to the end zone. Williams between three defenders, touchdown! Nick Williams hauls it home through contact and the Rebels have expanded the lead. Two scores at least. Knock to the near side, he's got a man open. He evades a tackler and he's knocked down inside the five yard line. It's Tawa again into the end zone for a Wolfpack score. Cox to throw. He's pressured, looking end zone. It's knocked away. The Rebels hold on. It's Jonathan Baldwin getting a hand on it. Jonathan Demo! Yeah! Oh. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Get it coming on, baby! Get it coming on!
why you never ever put them down You just give your arms higher, raise them to your arms tired Let them know you there, that you struggle and survive And that you gon' persevere, yeah Ain't nobody leaving, nobody going home Even if they turn the lights up I'm gonna tell you one thing, man, let me Happen. Sometimes you come up short in life, but you know us, we roll that dice. You know I mean? Now we about to go to the gambling show. Show what we do. You know what I'm doing? My ass. Eh. It's a school, it's a city, it's an alum, it's that whole damn stadium. It's all the people that got you in this spot. The reason you got here, nutrition, <laughs> academics, athletic department, all of it matters. All of it, okay? And you guys deserve all the credit. It's a thousand percent about you and the team. One thousand percent. And you fought your ass off. Celebrate the right ass way tonight. Do not do anything that negative impacts this, this victory. Okay? So, yeah. The way you swing is red, you think he rocks it. All right, the track hawk starts, sound like you're fighting. All right, I'm cheating with my man, right on side me. All right, yee, yee, lot of money, lot of cars, lot of yee, yee. yee, yee. Talking, take his head clean off, yee, yee. My, my, yee, yee, my water, yee, yee. Yee, yee, my water, yee, 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 Yeah, I spent a thousand on these sweats, I don't even want to take them off I spent a thousand on this, I think I'm gon' f*** them This Burberry hoodie cost me a bag Yeah, I put up fence in my lap Yeah, I'm coming straight from out the trap Yeah, a piece cost 28, he paid his f*** late I'm used to, I'm used to I'm so, I'm trying to dust the case You heard me? Rules in battle, aches and pain Small box with me, baby. It don't matter. You gotta get it done. Whatever it takes, baby. Wolf pack. It's all wet. It's all wet. It's all wet. Tell them we're gonna paint the cannon red and the city red, baby. Hey man, you know what I'm saying? Certified PK. Pack killer, man. Yeah. The fuck you do? Yeah. Yeah, my name is Amani Trey Wright. I'm uh, I've been here since 2018. I'm going into my sixth year here. Hey, you know that. My name is Elio Himari. I got here in 2019, so this will be my fourth year of being a UNLV. What's your first thought when it comes to Rena? I hate him. They're disgusting. Um, I've never been a fan of Reno. So my first year here, actually, when we, we had a brawl up there. <laughs> And they were throwing coffee at us and punching on our players from above in the stand. It's my 
first thought just with that rivalry. It's always been a, a good rivalry for us. Yeah, they discuss me. I'm like, you know. Now, I've been around for a while, and uh, we have a, a saying that goes around here in, in Vegas, at least with UNLV football. And what's that saying when it relates to Reno and Reno Week? Uh, there's a saying around here, it's FTP. I'm not going to say the uh, curse word, but it's, you know, forget the pack. Uh, I don't really like Reno. We never have here. That's FCP, and uh, you can guess what that means. But, uh, yeah, no, nah, there's... There's just a hate for Reno at this school, and um, I'm sure they hate us, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's still FTP. Has that hatred for Reno been passed down from class to class? Oh yeah, definitely. Like, uh, I mean, one of the one of the guys I look up to that used to play here, Julio Garcia. Uh, he's he was he was a big advocate for you know n never liking the uh, Reno and. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure when he was here, it was passed down from him. And he passed it down to me, just that hatred and that, you know, the disgust to, that you have for, you know, not only your opponent, but your rival. What does it mean to you that we have the cannon back here in Vegas? I think for me, it's a sense of pride, school pride. But uh, also more than that, um, me personally, I just like winning. So I'm glad that we got back our trophy and... Um, I think most people agree, like, it does look better red. I'm trying to be as objective as possible when I say that. It means a lot, man. Um, being able to have that be our last game and win that cannon back, knowing what it means to the city of Vegas and the school here, it meant a lot, you know. Um, the last two years, we weren't able to get it done. And being able to, to, to win that game this year um, and see, see the the reaction of the community once we won and brought the cannon back at the uh, cannon walk. It was it was a good feeling. Speaking of the community, you know what does it what does it mean to them? You know it's it's a deep rooted rivalry here in Vegas. Yeah. So what does it mean to, for them to have that cannon back? The locals, shoot, they seem to hate Reno. So if uh, winning it means we made them happy, then I'm glad. Honestly, the fans need some type of relief from all the craziness that's been going on. So hopefully that did something for them. I think for them, it was maybe a sign of, a sign of relief, I guess, um, knowing that, you know, if you are a Rebel fan, that's the game that you're looking forward to. And that's the game that probably holds the most importance to not only like to the fans and us as well as players. Um, having that back, I think, they, you know, it excited the community. It was a sign of relief, you know, being able to get that cannon back and have it here in, um, in the Fertitta.